Hey folks, welcome to the next update. Oof, we're only, we're only two updates. This update and the next update, and that's the end of the first month. Jeez, we've gotten through a month already. Madness. Absolute madness. So let's get stuck into it. So, um, the image uh, ahead of you is my attempt at a Pentel pocket pen ink uh, drawing. <laughs> um, I tried to do it pretty quickly and uh, realized halfway through that I was just trying to attempt to draw a cell off um, Dragon Ball Z <laughs> poorly, mind you. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be a fun image to start the update with. Um, yeah, so, happy days. Uh, it is the first time I've started looking into um, like kind of using different forms of, uh, I suppose, texture uh, with kind of like the dots and then mixing them in with the uh, hatching and um, just an interesting, it's been, it was an interesting little sketch uh, to kind of warm up for the day. Um, then of course we went on to uh, just a random amount of different small doodles. Um, these came out pretty well. Um, the guy hunched over at his computer uh, was a pose I didn't plan to do, um, but it came out pretty well. Um, the creature on the far right uh, is my idea of an you know, what happens if Stranger Things hits Admiral, takes over like uh, Admiral Akbar's position in Star Wars? Um, kind of like my first attempt at like a, I suppose a, a quick creature design. Um, I did try and draw a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in the background, but uh, let's not talk about him. Um, and of course, you got you have to have the generic straight on stiff man pose. Um, you know, if it's not double butt man, it's it's stiff, generic, straight on, man. Uh, <laughs> um, and then some random face in the background that, uh, I don't know, reasons. After that, it was straight into some pose work. Now, uh, really trying to, I wanted to really try and get onto having a little bit more movement and having the poses play off each other. So with this one, you can see that there's kind of a, almost like a kung fu routine. Uh, form routine going on um, and I think it came out well uh, limiting myself to the amount of line I could use trying to keep it nice and clean um, I think I think it came out well I think uh, the pectoral muscles are definitely something that's throwing me a bit um, I think they need to be shaded in rather than just doing a, a, a straight across line uh, especially the, the line coming up the inside of the uh, chest on the one on the left is really terrible. Uh, but the one on the right, you can see where it's like, it's a subtle line um, following the stomach. Uh, that's, a, that's an awful lot better. Um, so I kind of understand from that aspect of what I'm doing wrong. Definition around the groin area would definitely be uh, a bonus as well. Um, still no work on hands or, or heads. That it's I'm not, I'm not even attempting them at the right now. Um, I haven't implemented their... I haven't put in their collarbone on the one on the left or finished his neck. Um, you know, again, uh, this month's very much been trying to hammer in this blank canvas and s gradually add in things, but... Um, yeah, there's a few elements I could have I definitely added into this to make it better. Um, this one, a uh, guy sitting on a stool... Um, it came out okay. Uh, I think it could have been better. Like the feet don't really feel like they're hitting the ground. He doesn't really feel like he's sitting down. Um, but again, I think the the fact that I can like getting quite comfortable manipulating this blank slate in in different ways. That uh, next month I can really start to try and add in detail and uh, get better at the fine tuning, I suppose. Um, of the anatomy um, and how it interacts with the things around it uh, definitely adding in more items and things like that would be a, a bonus um, but I'm, I'm happy with the, the progress uh, nearing the end of month one um, 
I think that things have gotten better uh, and more consistent, I think, especially over the last few days, uh, rather than the car crash that we experienced <laughs> a bit back. Um, this page, uh, I did a bunch more 10 minute poses. I've become a big fan of just doing 10 minute poses. Here's a page, fill it up with poses for 10 minutes. And uh, I think that's a good way of going about it. Because even though I was trying to limit myself with, with just doing a, uh, one line and not using an eraser or using a pen so I can't fix any of my mistakes. Um, I was still finding that I was getting bogged down in in trying to get those poses perfect um, with with those implements where I didn't I shouldn't be doing that. I should be here's ten minutes, fill this page full of poses, move on. Here's ten minutes, do this page full of poses, here's five minutes, do this page full of poses. Um, and it just it, yeah. And I just found that like it's some of these poses you're seeing here are as good as the ones I spent far more time on. Um, also, this guy does not have a double butt. I'm shocked, shocked and appalled. Absolutely shocked and appalled. Um, this one uh, again, just playing with uh, adding in a little bit of uh, weapons. Um, so uh, sword and shield. Um, I think this came out okay. I I didn't define the waist at all. <laughs> uh, I really didn't. Um, but I think it's fairly clean. Um, and even the shading on the shield is actually not bad. It's not badly blended. Um, there's a little bit of a definition between uh, because he's using a large uh, buckler. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a definition between the rise of the center of the buckler, which is a steel dome. Um, to the outer, more flat um, plane, um, which works kind of not great, but not too badly. Um, again, I haven't really learned anything to define muscle groups. Uh, again, down the arm, I could have really added in a little bit of shading. I, I know where the muscle groups are. Um, the neck muscles are huge. Uh, that guy's been lifting all the weight with his head um but overall like i'm pretty happy with how this came out it's it's clean looking i guess um then we have a what i can describe as a ballerina um doing more movement i think this one came out pretty well she's at full extension so looking at like so it makes sense that she'd be kind of upright a little bit maybe it would have been better if i had have collapsed um, like where the lead leg is collapse that side a little bit in the chest um, and had that kind of like extension up through the stomach um, probably would have been better but again the fact that I can, I can, I can talk about this and I can identify it um, is, is good uh, it kind of fills me with hope that there's hope for me yet um, and again trying to keep this as clean as possible um because today started off with the usual um practice drills and things um but i'm definitely i'm definitely happy with the the level of progress in the in the time that i've i've been at it um and then the final image uh, i'm gonna show you guys is kind of my favorite one i think um i think this one came out pretty nice um yeah i think I think it's not bad. I think it. Uh, I think it came out well. Um, even the head and the hair and the ears. I, I attempted putting ears on a fi on a face, and and hair. Um, the arm on the right is. The elbow, like how the elbow curves, is not great. Um, I, I, looking at that now, I could definitely, I definitely want to fix that. Um, but overall, the image isn't. It isn't bad. It's it's definitely a bit more of an improvement. She has no neck. I've just realized I did not draw a neck. I What the hell is uh <laughs> I don't I don't know why I don't I'm not drawing necks on people these days. But apparently it's uh, I've got a thing against necks. Um But yeah. 
I honestly don't know why I did not draw her neck. Um, but yeah, definitely the right arm's drawing it off a bit. Um, I think it's because I don't have it, I don't have it really defined where the 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 forearm is kind of curling back into the where the bicep is, and I think the bicep is a little bit too elongated. Um, but again, minor things I think overall. Uh, I think today's been a pretty a pretty good day, a pretty good day for for the progr progress on the anatomy. Um, yeah. So upwards and onwards. So that's that's been my day today. It's just been three hours of just drawing anatomy and um, an hour of just solid uh, fundamentals, which you guys all know by now. If you're new, it's essentially drawing circles and shapes and having those shapes morph into each other and be attached to each other and then figuring out a light source, where the light's coming from, and then shading uh, them in. Um, uh, and just trying to hammer out the, the fundamentals I've learned already without moving on uh, too quickly. Um, because there's a lot of courses out there that you can do and uh, you can blow through them in a day. Like uh, Jake's Jake Parker's um, uh, what do you call it? Perspectives course that I was doing this year, or this month. Jesus, this month. Um, I could have done that probably in about two hours. I think the entire course is about two and a half hours long. But that's not the point. The point is to learn a bit of it and then go off and practice for a few days, and then come back, learn a little bit, of it, go off and practice for a few days. Um, and I definitely think the practice is it, it's paying off. Um, this is not a bad image. Um, so yeah guys um, I'm going to see you in the next update thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you've got any comments leave them down below but most importantly have a great day and a better tomorrow have a good one